Hey there, Power Ranger fans, and welcome to another live toy review brought to you by LR4. And today we will yeah, today we will be reviewing the Legacy Blade Blaster. I got this at Toys R Us today. Um, didn't get marked down or anything like that. It's still spent. Cost us seventy nine ninety nine plus um, tax, so I did end up spending eighty some odd dollars on it. But you know what? I'm glad I got it, so that way I didn't have to go looking for it later on. So anyway, let's go ahead and look at the box. Um, I like how they have the Red Ranger holding it in the, the Blade Blaster in its uh, sword mode. And then the articulation, the color, everything's nice. I like that. And I like how they have the um, Rangers up here and the Blade Blaster right there. And on the side, it's it has um, the Red Ranger again. I think on this side has the Red Ranger over there as well. The yep, with the Mighty Morphin logo. So also on the back, it shows you uh, another uh, image of the Red Ranger again. It shows you it has three different modes: blaster mode, holster mode, and um, blade mode. So let's go ahead and review the sounds, which I already has you already used the scissors to open this up. Which I am going to save this box so that way I can keep it in there for now until I can find a way to display it. So here we go. Let's get this out. The directions are right here. As usual. Whoopsie. Plastic to it. Here are the directions, which I probably won't need because this is pretty much simplistic. So it has a nice uh, way of keeping it nice and safe and, uh, you know, secure. You put the plastic over it. There's no, like, white bag type of thing in there anymore. So this time they have like a little black outline, so I like that. So let's get the blaster out. I'll put this one on the side over here. So in here we have the Legacy Blade Blaster itself. It's in blaster mode. Let's turn it on. It makes a power up sound. Let me do that again so you can hear it. Now I'll just let you know there are no lights on this, but there's a lot of sound. So when you shoot it once. It makes uh, a, bl a um, blow explosion at the end, but if you hit it twice, you can hit as many, many times as you want, it'll double the explosion sound. So listen. So I thought that's pretty cool. And of course, when you hold the button down, hold the button down. <sighs> yeah, you get the My Walking Theme song. Oh, there that goes again. And so when you want to turn it into holster mode, there's a little button in the back right here. Right here. First you pull this back like so, and then... You push this button down, and then you make sure to connect it. It makes a connecting noise. It makes another connecting noise when you do that. So when you're in holster mode, this is when they use their special attack. Now, when you press the button, it makes a slashing noise. So let's see if it does the theme song in this setting. Yep. And so if you want to get the blade out, Back uh, in the 1990 version, 1993, 1992 uh, Blade Blaster, you had to grab it with your two fingers and pull it out. But this one actually has a, a little uh, switch to it. So what you do is this little this little uh, thing right here. You put it back. You push it back like you push it forward, and it springs out. Now I just love how it does that. Now of course we still have the slashing and stuff like that for the toy. So, of course, it's going to do the theme song again if you hold it down. So no matter what mode you're in, you're still going to get the theme song if you hold down the button. But um, I like this. I like how nice and sturdy um, uh, this is like a rub really, really th um, very sturdy plastic rubber, I think. I can't remember. No. But I like the red on it. And I like the, uh, the chrome on the uh, back part right here. And then you got the little bit of chrome right here. And it's not really heavy. It's it's, it's a nice, um, got a nice weight to it. I mean, it's not heavy like uh, the Dragon Dagger or the um, Saba. 
So yeah, it's it's really nice. I like this. I like the white on it, and I like how they have Power Rangers on there. And um, so yeah, I mean, this is an awesome thing for collectors. I do suggest you guys pick this up before it stops selling. Um, which my guess is they will keep these going for a while. Now, to be honest, I have so when you put put it back in blaster mode, you just do what you do before. That was blade mode you were just in, and then push this down, and then push this forward. Now, not knowing what this is right here, this little thing right here, I don't know if that's just a little hole they just put there. I don't know if that's for something in particular, but anyway. It's very nice, a uh, very nice detail to it. I like how you know the, the the handle's nice, got a nice you can you know grip on it, and you know the other one did have. I mean, back then it did have the lights and lights with it, but I like this one better. I mean, we don't really need lights with it; it makes it much better. So yeah, for you guys that like to cosplay, uh, buy a holster that will fit it, because if you put it in holster mode. It'll go like it'll go in your holster like that. So, so yeah. Um, for the price, it's worth it in the end. I mean, I know it's a lot of money to spend on a toy like this, but it is a legacy item. That means you know it's going to be a lot more money than you think. Um, but um, if you can manage to get this um, off for a little down price um if they have like a price where you know it's a sales price this year then i would suggest getting that right away but if not and only it's sell it's selling it for what you call it um uh for 79.99 then if you have the if you have enough money for it i would definitely buy it as soon as possible because once they uh once these once this legacy item or anything else leaves the store it's gone because I have seen a lot of Sabas and a lot of uh, uh, White Tiger Zords. And I've seen this today, so I'm glad that I finally got this. Instead of ordering it online, because it would cost more for shipping and handling. But um, I, wouldn't, I would definitely not pay Amazon prices for this. Because it's probably more than what you would spend at Toys R Us. So I would go for the price at Toys R Us. Because you can only get this at Toys R Us. So yeah, guys, uh, this is pretty much it for this live toy review. Um, we will be—I will be doing another one sometime. Um, I am planning on getting the Plesio Zord and uh, the Plesio Megazord, Plesio Charge Megazord. Sorry, Plesio Charge Megazord, and um, hopefully, if I find the gray Packazord, then I can do review on that. If not, then I'll get the purple one. So. Yeah, I still need to also get the Spinal Zord and the Black T-Rex Zord, which I'm planning to do a review on that sometime. But till then, um, guys, keep an eye out uh, this month because hopefully we will be getting a promo soon of Power Rangers Dino Supercharge because it premieres this month, um, Jan um, this month uh, on the thirty uh, on the thirtieth, and then we have our episode for LR Season Four um the 31st so keep an eye out on lr4 we, we will post a pro we will post the promo once um becomes available on other social media sites like uh like ranger crew more from legacy i'll keep an eye out those so that way i can share it and it'll be on our site, facebook as well so guys um thank you for watching um hope you have a great night um stay more phenomenal and as zordon always says may the power protect you and we're out